today's tutorial from Noreen Crone Findlay, that's me, at cronefindlay.com and toddytalkscrafts.com is, as you see, how to weave triangles with Dewberry Ridge Triangle Looms. Now, I'm sure this probably happens for you too, that you find like there's a company whose looms that you just absolutely love and you're just in total harmony and simpatico with. And that's how I feel about Dewberry Ridge Looms. Uh, they're just really nice people and their craftsmanship is superb. And I love their work so much, that's why I asked them to make the um, the little heart loom that I designed and uh, I also was the one who got them doing pot order looms. Anyhow, today it's all about the triangle. Oh, and as always, I'm going to show my girls and a little bit of my denim smock. In my kind of lurched. Okay, so cronefindley.com is my website and Toddy Talks Craft is my blog. The website's where you order books and patterns and designs and the blog is where I post all the support material for the um, for the video tutorials. No matter what size the triangle loom, the principles of weaving uh, triangles on it are the same, whether it's a small uh, triangle loom that's only a few inches or one that's 14 inches or three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet. The principles of weaving triangles on a triangle loom are all the same. And the thing is that triangles can be combined to make all kinds of wonderful things. You're not just weaving a triangle, you're weaving fabric. And the triangle is just a nifty geometrical component of making something else that's totally wonderful. So the method for weaving a continuous um, triangle on the triangle loom is uh, always the same, no matter what size triangle loom you're using. And your warp becomes your weft, and it's just, oh, it's so neat uh, the way it works. You'll need yarn and a crochet hook um, or afghan hook or locker hook, and of course, scissors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yarn, I'm going to make a, a loop with my finger, and I'm going to place it on the farthest right-hand peg at the upper right-hand corner. Then I'm going to take the yarn from the ball plus the yarn end uh, the yarn end is under, the yarn from the ball is above, and I'm going to tie a knot. So now I'm going to go over the yarn at the left hand corner with my crochet hook, and I've made a loop on my finger and I drop it onto my hook, and pull it through and I place one side of that loop on the first nail on the horizontal side. Well, it's kind of horizontal, kind of angly. Then I use my the end of my crochet hook to scoot across and my there goes the, that first row is on there. So now I'm going to go over, under, on the right hand side, take the yarn over the hook, place the end on the next nail. Then I, with the end of the hook, I scoot it across and I place the loop on the nail below and the yarn comes out to the left-hand side of 
the um, nail on the left hand top edge. So again I'm going over, under, over, and of course every time you get another row of yarn. Whoops, my hook didn't catch. Okay, so I pull it through. My tail end there is getting in the way a little bit. And now I take and place the end on the, the nail, scoot this other end across, and place the loop on the next nail down. So that is basically what you do to weave a triangle. You're always going from one side of the loom to the other. And placing, you're going to place your yarn on the side as you go down. And it'll go around the upper nail. So you're working from one side to the other. And what happens is that you actually will end up with a clean finished. All your edges will be secured. Isn't that neat? So that you're not going to have, like with a potholder loom, when you're doing continuous weaving with that, you can you end up with the side, the right hand side, needing to be secured. And with the, um, oops, I skipped one. I thought that was looking a bit odd. So you have to kind of watch and make sure that you don't skip a nail. Yeah, so with the, with the triangle loom, it's just so neat because your edges are all clean finished by the time you finish weaving your triangle. Now, you can still do crocheted or spool knitted or, um, or chained edges on your triangle if you want, but you really don't have to. So you just will keep And you see your warp strands are here in the center of the loom and the weaving builds up on the edges and works towards the middle. And you can change colors. You don't have to use just one ball of yarn. Uh, you can work all kinds of wonderful plaids and stripes and things by changing colors of, of your weaving. Um, for instance, now here's a, a triangle that I wove on the uh, three foot square. Again, because the light is so harsh, it's hard to see, but I did, I changed colors to get the different, um, here I'm gonna step around here to block a bit of the light. See if that helps a bit to show. So you can see you can get very subtle uh, color gradations, or you can get you know a true, you know, really neat plaid by changing your colors. It's uh, pretty nifty. And as you can see, uh, because the the yarn that I'm using is a self patterning yarn, I'm getting a pattern on here. What I'm going to do is just keep on. I think I might switch crochet hooks because this guy is not serving me all that well. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to stop the camera and go get a different hook that works a bit better. And I think what I'll do is I'll weave uh, towards the center and then come back and show you um, how I like to do the last row. Okay, so I have woven across to the middle, and uh, as you can see, the uh, uh, self-patterning yarn has indeed made a pattern uh, in the triangle. So, as you can see, I have two uh, nails left at the top, at the center, 
and three left at the lower corner. So I'm going to weave my hook through and pull my yarn down. Now, when you're weaving, especially on the larger looms, you'll find that your hook won't reach the entire way across the loom. So you just weave part way through, pull out a loop, and keep on weaving. So I now have woven So that we have one loop left at the top, I mean one nail at the top and one at the lower edge. And so I will weave, pull out some more yarn, weave halfway through, pull the loop of yarn down and weave the rest of the row. Then pick up that loop with my hook and pull it down and when you you can either what um, there's there's a couple things you can do depending on the size of the loom um, you can take now and snip your yarn from the ball of yarn and pull on your loop and go under the last row and pull your hook through the last loop which will then lock your weaving and you can take it off. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll weave another whole row before I do that. If uh, my yarn was thin and it seems a bit gappy, but this has worked out quite nicely. So now what I'll do is I will just simply pop my triangle off the loom and remember you're not you can just you can weave a triangle that will be a standalone triangle especially like if it's a six or seven foot triangle that'll be a triangle um, shawl triangular shawl but don't forget you can this um, can be half of a square when you put it this way I like to use my triangle loom to weave stoles and uh, on my blog you'll see that um, I've done some stoles that are um, triangles that fit together as squares and then I build the squares along the length of the stole. So there you have it. How to weave on the triangle loom. Happy weaving. Go gently. Blessing. Of course, you're going to need to weave in your ends, so take a needle and thread it and take your yarn, just weave your yarn end into your triangle to bury the ends. Or if you're going to be sewing your triangles together, you can use your yarn end um, to uh, stitch at least part of the ends, uh, part of the triangle together. And this little peg doll is going to wear her new triangle loom shawl with great happiness indeed, I do hope. And so I hope that you will also enjoy weaving on the triangle loom and that pretty soon you'll be wrapped in wonderful warmth and remember to put your triangles together to make squares for making bags and other wonderful things and enjoy your weaving. I'm sure I'll be making more videos so do come back to my video channel, do come back to um, 
Dotty Talks Crafts and Chromefindler.com. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Happy weaving. Blessings and go gently.